Welcome back guys or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Vision here with Brian our team up bringing you guys in our video. Today we're talking about the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Talking about the top 10 villains I want to see as figures in the Lightning Collection. Now if you haven't checked it out already, go check out my top 10 Rangers I want in the Lightning Collection. I'll have that linked in the description box down below. So you can go check out that after you watch this video. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That would miss any more Power Rangers content from me moving forward. Now, let's begin. Now, my number 10 pick would have to be Broodwing from Power Rangers SPD. I love the design of Broodwing. I think he's so cool looking with the dome over his head. Now, I know in the Super Sentai version, he was the leader of the villain faction. But in SPD, it was Grum. He was a TV-only character. Or, you know, uh, USA-only character for SPD. But I love Broodwing. I thought he was so cool-looking. And I just love the voice for the character. And, the, again, the design. And everything about the character, I think, is cool. Again, I think for SPD, they didn't really have too many, like, big generals there that you could pick from. If I like SPD and I wanted to pick someone from SPD. But I had to choose Broodwing. Maybe Ad Adult Mora or Morgana would have been a good one. But... That could be one I could see later on. If I had to pick one for right now, I'd pick Broodwing. Now, I would also like to see the A-Squad get their own Rangers. Now, that would be really cool. I, I, get, I think that'd be re an awesome like set to give out is the A-Squad set. Now, that would be an awesome Lightning Collection figure, maybe as, as like an exclusive somewhere. I definitely want to see that. But if I had to pick someone, I'd probably pick Broodwing. I mean, Grum is cool and everything, but... I, I, if I had to pick, I wouldn't pick him first. And then you got the Magnificence, which is just like a brain. I mean, they could release him in his final robot form from the finale, which would actually be really, really cool. But I don't know. I, I would probably pick Broodwing. They have some cool generals, like from the Omega Messenger episode that I think would be cool to have. And they, uh, I feel like... I feel like SPD is one of those seasons where the monsters are more cooler than the generals in a way. And I would probably want to see more of the monsters get their own figures from SPD. But I do want to see all the generals as well get their figures. I think Broodwing though is a really cool one. And I think the design and sculpture to him is very cool that they could do out of. And I think he would be a really cool figure to have in the Lightning Collection. My number 9 pick would have to be Diabolico from Lightspeed Rescue. I love this character. And if I had to pick any of the generals, it'd probably be him at my number 1. I mean, Olympus is cool. Ben Shira is awesome, and Jinxter is pretty cool as well. I would definitely want them as figures, but I think Diabolico just is really cool looking. And yes, like I feel like characters in Lokai and you know, have um, Viper, they kind of are forgotten about to an extent. So I, 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 they would be cool to have too, but Diabolico is just so cool. He was probably one of the top generals. He had that plan with Ryan. He, he's just probably more of an iconic character from as from Lightspeed Rescue, from my honest opinion, that I'd want him probably over some of the other villains from Lightspeed Rescue. And I think he's just, again, similar to Brood when he's got a cool design. He's got one of the most iconic villains of the series. So I think he would definitely be an awesome one to have in the Lightning Collection. Just given his story within the season. And just, I think he'd just be a cool one to have in the Lightning Collection overall. Now my number 8 pick would have to be Prince Gasket from Power Rangers Zeo. Now, I feel like Zeo can be one of those seasons where the generals and character and villains are somewhat forgotten. Just because it's been a while since Zeo's been out. I mean, I feel like the Machine Empire is boosted due to the Forever Red team-up. But I feel like they could get some more recognition. Especially Prince Gasket. I feel like since he was in the last like 10 episodes, he just kind of is forgotten about. Which I think sucks for him. I think he's a really cool character, and he actually had one of the greatest plans from Power Rangers. I mean, he captured Tommy and nearly turned, made the group surrender. He was like an awesome general, and I would love to see him get his own figure. I'd actually love to see him come back to the show. I don't think they'd ever be able to do that, because I think I read somewhere that like his suit was damaged, so he can't come back. But I think it'd be awesome to see him come back somehow. I mean, he's also a robot, so I feel like they could just... You know, give him a new body and just call him Prince Gasket. That'd be really cool. Um, but I also feel like they could release him with Ar with Archerina in a two pack, but similar to what they're doing with Reed and Zed. I but I really want to see him get his own figure. 
I need a Machine Empire characters would be awesome and as Lightning Collection figures, especially given that they're robots. But I would, I think if I had to pick one, I'd pick him overall, just because I feel like he's just a little bit more forgotten, and I want to give some of these lesser forgotten characters or not so popular characters a little bit more shine and some of the more iconic villains that fans love and know from the series. Coming at number seven is Vexicus from Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Now, if you saw my nin my other one with the Rangers, I said that I want all of the Ninja Storm characters, villains, and Rangers as figures, and Vexicus is no exception. First off, I love the design of the character. It's just really cool. I absolutely love him. I think it would be awesome as well if they give us like hit the land shark for as like an accessory like when he was grew and had out his mega form that'd be awesome too just an awesome character i think him and all I, like if they gave us the ninja storm generals as just a, a a pack i'd pay money for that i don't care how much it was i would pay money for that i love the generals from ninja storm just mainly due to the design of them and Vexicus is just cool looking. I love the voice actor for him. Just gave him more maniacal, evil tone, tone to the character. And I just love the character. I want to, again, this is another one I'd love to see come back. For an anniversary episode or just something like that. I think he's just a cool, awesome villain. Again, I, again the Ninja Storm Ranger, Rangers and villains are just cool in their design and everything about them. I think that they deserve a lot of good shine. I feel like a lot of fans aren't a big fan of Ninja Storm just because they feel like it's a goofy, funny season. But I think it's probably one of the more fun and awesome seasons of PR. So I'd love to see them get a little bit more shine as well. And Vexicus is, again, probably one of my favorite villains. Honestly, I can't pick a favorite villain or general from Ninja Storm. They're all awesome. And if I, this is just one that I picked just due to the design I like him most. So that's kind of why I picked him, but I definitely want to see him get his own figure, hopefully soon in the Lightning Collection. Coming in at 6th place will have to be Zeltrax from Power Rangers Dino Thunder. This is a villain that I feel like is really cool looking and doesn't always get the recognition he deserves, I feel like. I mean, I feel like he's a little bit boosted due to the whole thing he had with Tommy. And I feel like it'd be cool maybe if they released him in a two-pack with with Tommy in his Dino Thunder form. That'd be cool. Um, but I like this character. And I again, this is another one I feel like just doesn't get the shiny you should get. I feel like he's kind of overshadowed sometimes and just forgotten about. I mean, you know, I, there's certain just villains that just kind of fall to the wayside in the franchise just due to the sort of other popularity of other villains and i feel like while zeltrax is a more bigger villain he still has that thing where he kind of just fell to the background a bit i mean he is cool and there's rumors that he's going to show up in the beast morphers team up but i think that he deserves some more shine and i think a figure would be cool for him and i think he already has a good design where a figure would would be perfect for him and I just want to see him get his own figure. And it's just an overall cool character. And I just, again, think his sculpt and design as a character would be work perfectly in a figure. And I think you should get it as soon as possible. Taking us into the top five is Dai Shi. Now, again, if you watched my other video from Top 10 Rangers, I said I love the um jungle fury characters whoever it be rangers and villains and daishi is no exception i love his warrior form and i know this is more like jared's lying form which is fine they could even use his smitch ma switch match head for that i don't care but i think he's just a cool character the armor is overall awesome looking and so cool and i would just love to see this character come true if i had to be this was a hard one for jungle fury because i'd love to have the overwards to get their own figure, but I feel like they could even do like a three pack set for the overwards because I, I love them so much as well. But if I had to pick one character to go for here, I'd pick Daishi. I think they're all cool with like Camille probably being the weakest, but I love the generals and villains from this season. And Daishi is just one that I think is so cool and would be awesome to have as his own figure in the Lightning Collection. Next, coming in at number four is Ransack. Now, he is such a cool character. And I feel like the build and a sculpt of the character from the show 
fits in perfectly with what a figure could be. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Ransack is a US exclusive character. So I feel like that's easily able to be done into a figure. He, the cyborg form of him, like all the metal and stuff like that would be awesome in a figure. And even you could even do like switch match heads because you have his mutant form without the mask on. And then you have his human form from... You know, the Wild Force team up. They could do so many things with the Switch Morph heads there. And I just think he's such a cool character. Time Force being such a big season. I think he would do great on the market as a figure. Just selling out all over the place with how big of a people love Time Force. And I feel like they could even possibly do a two-pack with him and Nadira if they wanted to. He's just an overall awesome, cool character. And I think it'd be a mistake not to give him a, a figure soon. Just over just due to the popularity of the character and the season. Taking us into the top three is Rito Revolto. Now, I think this would be a perfect one to come out next. They already got Rita and Zed as their own figures. What better way to round out everything out than do a Rito... And then do, I mean, they already have Goldar as well. Like, that's perfect. They could easily do him next. I don't understand why they're not. He's just an awesome character. I love the design. Such a cool character. He destroyed the Thunder Zord. So that just gives me more popularity to the character for me. I want to see him get his own figure. Again, we got Rito, Rita and Zed and Goldar already. Why not continue out filling out the Mighty Morphin villain side of the of everything with the with Rito, and then you can do Master Vile, do Squat and Babu, two pack or something like that, and then round it out with like Finster and a Tango or something like that. You already have a putty, so like it's perfect. Round out everything, do Rito next. I think that'd be awesome. Again, love the sculpt, and I think it'd be a mistake not to do him as soon as possible. Coming in at number two, my runner up would be Zenaku. I love this character from Wild Force, and he's probably one of the best villains from Wild Force. I mean, I love all the orgs and, uh, and the Duke orgs and everything like that. But Zenako just sticks out to me just due to his storyline with Merrick. And, like, he had control of his Wild Zords and made the other Wild Zords fight each other. Like, Z the Zenaku arc of Wild Force is probably one of the most awesome and best arcs from PR. So I have to pick him as one of my top because he is just awesome. Again, he's another one where I think the sculpt and design of the character would be perfectly translated into a figure. So I want to see him get a figure as soon as possible. Love the character. Love the design. Love his story. But Hasbro, give him his own figure. He is awesome and he deserves it. And I think he should definitely be one of the next villains to get a figure as soon as possible. However, my number one pick would have to be the Psycho Pink Ranger. I don't understand why the Lightning Collection or the or the Legacy line never put out a pink Psycho Ranger. They put out the red and the blue one right away with both lines, yet they don't give us a pink Psycho Ranger. It just makes zero sense. She's the most iconic of all the Psycho Rangers. She killed Kendricks after all. Yet the other two red and blue ones get their own figure first. I get it. But come on. They don't give this one any to us yet. It just makes zero sense to me. She should be like in the next wave. If not, I'm going to start saying it. It's ridiculous. Because she is iconic. She is awesome. She should be in wave 6 or 7. Whatever is after i think five is coming up next i don't know but she needs to be out as soon as possible again perfect design the psycho rangers make great designs for figures and just the idea that they haven't done her yet is mind-boggling to me one of the most fan favorites and they don't give her a figure just doesn't make any sense to me so i think she deserves her own figure as soon as possible and if not i think we all should start rioting for a pink psycho ranger because it, it needs to be done and it needs to be made as soon as possible. Because like I said, she's an awesome character and deserves a figure in the Lightning Collection. Oh so yeah guys, those are my top 10 villains I want to see in the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. As always, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That would miss any more Power Rangers content from me moving forward. And you can go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which are linked in the about section of my YouTube channel. As always, it's been Vision here with Blind Entertainment, and I'll see you next time.